And hi, welcome back guys to Open Foam uh, Intermediate Series. Uh, today we're gonna talk a little more about parallel processing. So, um, yeah, as we all know, parallel processing is one way of running uh, simulations faster, and Open Foam has a utility just for that. And so we'll be discussing, uh, we'll begin our discussion by looking in the tutorial files. All right. So on the left side, I have a completely blank terminal in the home directory and on the right uh, I have navigated well I've done some navigation into this directory called the propeller directory alright and this is found in pimple foam so you can see it's in the tutorials directory in compressible flow and it's in the pimple foam uh, pimple foam and the Reynolds average uh, uh, simulation and it's in the propeller so this is a turbulent simulation uh, in the open form directory uh, in yep Ooh. yeah can clear this up and oh clear just scrolls things down but whatever all right clear then um yeah so uh, i've done uh, some all, i've run the all run script and uh, we'll take a look at what the all run script is uh, later on and of course when you run uh, um Para run uh, processes in parallel. Just be aware that there'll be lots of uh, firewall pop-ups if uh, yeah you are running Windows. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Uh, that's not a big security issue, so don't worry. Um, yeah. So as we run all run, uh, you will run all these processes, and then uh, yeah you'll have all these logs. So let's uh, zoom in here. I'll clear this part out. So let me show you this uh, folder as it's running now. Okay, so um, first we want to find out what exactly we are running. So let's go look at the all run file. So in this all run file, we will have this two lines here as usual. And then we have a decompose par. And what is this? This is a, um, this is a way to split up the mesh into maybe like two to six regions because usually the mesh is run in one region so let's take out paint so for example if this is the mesh the entire mesh um, what decompose power will do is just to split the mesh into the regions so this is let's say the x direction all right uh, splitting like that will split the mesh into two regions now if you split the x direction into four regions for example you will split it something like that. So you have one, two, three, and four. So these four uh, processes, uh, four regions will run in parallel instead of this whole region being run as one process. Now this, uh, this definitely will be faster, but the catch of course is that uh, your CPU will be pretty um, occupied. So this is what uh, Pimple Foam is uh, like when it's running. Uh, okay, so Pimple Foam is like Piezo Foam except your Coron number can go more than one because it's an implicit uh, solving method. If you're not sure what it is, don't worry. First, that's that's not uh, that's not the focus of this video. This video is just here to show us some of the ways we can do this decompose uh, par or uh, decompose the parallel. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so we are running this script all one pre, then we run a decompose par, decompose parallel, then we run in parallel whatever application we have, in this case is pimple foam, and then we run application the reconstruct parallel. Okay, so let's take a look at what uh, our first line of code it says all run dot pre, right? Oops, not or all run pre. Okay, so as usual, we have this first two lines to execute stuff from the run files directory and then it copies the propeller in. So this is a tri-surface uh, file, meaning it's a geometry, similar to very similar to an STL file. Then it runs the usual block mesh and snappy hex mesh and of course surface feature extract. That one was uh, briefly discussed. I mean, the features will help us smooth out the edges. 
Um, this is done explicitly. This is run. This is running Snappy Hex Mesh in the explicit surface feature mode, but that I have not discussed in this uh, video series yet. But uh, you'll see whether we need to do that. But roughly, you have the block uh, block mesh generation here. So we have uh, Snappy Hex Mesh, and then this thing called Renumber Mesh. We have not talked about it, but don't worry. All of these basically just talk about mesh generation, and of course, it runs the topo set create patch and restore zero directory okay nothing too new okay so except for a few new applications uh, the rest of it is pretty similar all right so that that does with the geometry file uh, so once it's done with the geometry once it's done with the geometry you can actually use the decompose par to uh, run in parallel whatever you have here which is pimple fold and once you decompose you and you run, you have to reconstruct. So these are the three basic steps for running uh, uh, things in parallel. I don't have any more CPU power to actually speed things up, but let's uh, let's just first take a look at uh, what this decompose power actually looks like. All right, so. If you want to run it manually, what does it look like? It just executes this thing called decompose par. Okay, pretty simple. And it looks for a dictionary uh, in the system folder called a decompose par dict. Very similar to what we have before. We have control dict or block mesh dict. We have a decompose par dict as well. So you enter, and here we go. It says a form file, the usual, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, things you need to note here, uh, number of subdomains is 4. That means we'll split this thing into 4 regions and run 4 different processes. Not 4 different pro uh, Yeah, it's 4 different processes. So if you look at Task Manager, if you look at Task Manager, there will be... Oh, excuse me. There will be 4 processes of pimple foam. And that already takes up a lot of uh, CPU power. Okay, so make sure don't overload the CPU uh, as far as your computer is uh, concerned. It can overheat pretty quickly and it's getting pretty hot now. I can feel it. Yeah, I'm touching my, I'm touching my computer. So uh, maybe you can run uh, three, three processes in future, um, three or two, if you are using my computer. Uh, it depends on your computer and computing power as well. Yeah, so um, just make sure, try not to go too long at this and then ensure proper cooling when you are doing it right it may make it run faster but it gets pretty hot so uh, maybe you want your CPU intensity to run about 50 to 75 percent yeah so uh, let's let's talk about this um, what what are these things talking about so four subdomains that means you are splitting your mesh into four parts what is this method hierarchical now for that let's take a look at the open foam user guide now this is OpenFoam v6, which is uh, oh, there's a version 7 as well, uh, which is slightly different. This is the CFD Direct version. The other one is the ESI version, which is here. You can see the ESI at the top right hand corner. So this is the CFD Direct version, OpenFoam v6, v7, and this one is the OpenFoam v1812, v1906, etc. etc. Et so this one goes by year goes by the year so 1906 is 2019 in the June release and 1812 is the December release in 2018 this one just goes by version 4567 okay so anyway yes they are they are quite uh, similar enough so that uh, we don't really have to uh, worry too much okay so first thing first uh, we look at this thing called a hierarchical split so hierarchical split is a geometrical composition, same as simple, except the user specifies the order in which the directional split is done. For example, first in the y direction, then in the x direction, etc. So, yep. And then um, it's the same over here for uh, even in the open form uh, ESI version. Okay, so you can look at the hierarchical coefficients. 
can look at n, which is the number of subdomains in the x, y, and z. So, take a look. Look at this. Uh, method is hierarchical, and coefficients are n here. The, co -ed, the coefficients are n is 1, 4, and 1. So that means in the y direct, uh, it's one, it's one domain. Uh, it doesn't means it means it doesn't split the mesh at all. It splits the mesh into one piece, which is not splitting at all. In the x direction, four four pieces in the y direction, and one piece in the z direction. Okay, so um, that that's what it's talking about. It's pretty simple. Um, of course, there there are a few. Uh, there are a few uh, entries missing. We have a delta and an order. Um, delta means there's a scale, scale, uh, cell skew factor. And uh, order is order of decomposition. We're not going to talk too much about this in this video. We just want to do a dry run of, uh, of this for our snappy pipe kind of a case. Alright, so um, for now we are going to ignore all this x, y, z, x, y, uh, x, z, y, the order of decomposition. So it is basically uh, similar to the simple method. So simple is uh, the hierarchical without this x, y, z uh, decomposition. Not that important for us now. We can start with the the very most the very the most basic way of doing things. All right. So let's take a look at. Uh, Let's take a look at uh, what the output is for this file. Okay, so it's in the it's in the file called log decompose par. Yep, so you can see what it's doing. All right, so we just run decompose par as was said earlier, and look at this. It's uh, decomposing the mesh. So this is like a mesh construction kind of a thing. Yep. Um, it creates a mesh and it's calculating some distribution of cells. So it's finished that. Once it's done, it will split up the cells into like four piece, uh, four pieces. So there's processor zero, which is here, processor one, processor two, and processor three. All right. So uh, that's all it's doing. It's just splitting the mesh up. Then we can run all these four in parallel. So how do you start running something in parallel, for example? So let's look at the log.pimplefoam. All right, so this is where it's running. Let's go to zero. So colon and zero will bring us to the top. And all we have to do is say pimplefoam and run parallel. That's the, that's the most simple way of running things in parallel. So as it's running in parallel, uh, it's going to do all its thing as per usual, as normal. So it's going to run its uh, usual people form stuff. And we're not going to bother too much. No, oh, this thing does take very long. Okay, so I mean that's that's all we are doing. There's no more. There's no change to the FV solution. There's no change to the zero directory. Right, there's not nothing changed to the zero directory. It's still more or less the same stuff. If we have uh, run turbulent, uh, we have already run piezo form before, so these are the, the information that's there, that's needed. Um, yeah, so that's all it takes to run a parallel pro uh, parallel um, process in open form. Right, it's nothing nothing too fancy. In the, I mean, you can run. Uh, this thing called using this MPI, whatever. So it says an uh, open MPI can run a local multi multi -process processor machine. So um, this one allows us to run over the network which of of uh, CPUs, which I won't be covering. That's that's uh, if you have many computers to do, then we talk about that. But for now, for for this uh, for this. Uh, Series is really much out, pretty much out of the scope. So just to recap, in this video, we just uh, uh, we, are di we are discussing how a typical parallel process is run. We looked at the decompose par uh, utility, 
and of course we have also um, um, looked at the decompose part dict and we see how this is integrated into the script of the all run in this uh, particular pro propeller case and of course we we know that uh, it takes up a lot of power and it may still take a while so that's my personal tip to you is keep keep the thing cool uh, if not it will overheat pretty quickly yep so just be careful and uh, how many uh, how many processes you want to run simultaneously right especially if the CPU hits up very quickly or either that or the memory is overloaded yep so you got to watch these kind of things so yeah um, yeah and uh, last thing I want to, to bring our attention to is that uh, decomposed power can be used on the snappy hex mesh as well so sometimes snappy hex mesh may take a while this mesh generation process and this mesh generation process can also be run in parallel all right uh, but I think that's enough for now I will stop right here because the video is getting long now uh, talk more about uh, running snappy hex mesh uh, in parallel in the next video thank you very much